Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. We have literally just come from this hollowed out shell of a broken reactor over here. Where's Shinra, the mighty electronic company, electrical company in this world, have come along and had a look and seen if there was anything like that they wanted in there. And it turns out, no, they didn't. But there was something there that I wanted. A little bit of materia gave me the ability to summon one of these demigod figures that comes along to save me when I've got the magic to help me out there. Today we are driving around. We don't know where we're going because people didn't tell us where to go. So I assume we're just going to carry on until the next town. I mean, what else would we do there? How did those target markers get there? That's, that's not the one. What about this? No, I don't, I don't know how I pulled those up there. Uh, I'm going to try and bio everyone. I don't know what's going to happen there. It's probably not a good one. Death blow. Let, let's try a death blow, shall we? Who knows what that's going to do? I, I, I honestly don't. Also, game noise is quite loud. Let's, there we go, turn that down just a little bit so I'm not shouting over the top of it. Uh, even though I'm sure that is still pretty loud to you guys. Sorry if it is. Like, I'll, I'll try I'll try and tweak it in the edit. I'll try and tweak it in the edit. Look at all these guys getting there like, oh my gosh, I've got a countdown timer on top of me. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Did they actually... Is this the, the beginning of me taking my turn? That, that is actually what's going down there. Death blow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we'll just attack. Uh, wrong button. Hello. Well, you spent far too long having the bottom button on your controller being the do stuff button. And that's actually the council button in this game. Because, you know, people like to make things weird. I could swap them around, I suppose. I do have access to the configuration settings, uh, let alone the fact that it's a con Steam controller, so I could just tell it that those other two buttons are supposed to be the other way around. I, I don't know, anyway. Uh, this place looks a little bit weird. Should we just drive up here somehow? Uh, a nice little canyon of some description. Now, which way do we want to go? I presume this way. Or a fight. I suppose we could get in a fight. You guys up for a fight? What is this? It is a griffin. Of course it's a griffin. Why would it not be a griffin? Let's try an, an elemental attack. Let's uh, let's let's poison it as well. And you know, when all else fails, death blow. Let, let's just see if Barrett can pull it out and wrap it together and, and get the finish going as he's supposed to. Ba -ba -ba Bam! Oh look, he's got the little pincer claw on the go. Yeah, he's like a robot. Yeah, look at that, brilliant. I am a robot. Bah, 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 bah. That, that is quite the pincer claw. That that looks pretty scary there. The atomic scissors, I believe they're called. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay, cool. Where where are we going? I don't know where we're going. We're just gonna. Oh, what's this thing here? Oh, uh, oh! Question mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation question! Oh, I'm trying. It's not working for me, guys. Oh, oh, oh! Now that's bad. Oh, look, he even shakes his head. Oh man, a breakdown now. None of your other vehicles ever break down. I just want to point that out. I mean, this Dio chap, he, do he doesn't really know how to keep things together, does he? Well, let's walk into this town. Maybe someone can help me out. Oh, look at that pixelated perfection there. That is glorious. Hey, what's going on, man? Um, have we... Hmm? Hmm? Hey, back forth, this guy. I'm home! It is I! Nanaki. Is that Nanaki? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe! Come on and say hello to Bergenhagen. Yep, Bergenhagen. All right, Bergenhagen. Nanaki? What? What? Who, who's this guy? What's he on about? Do you, do you know what's going on? How about you, da yo, yo, Barrett? I finally made it. So this is Cosmo Canyon. Hey, you know where we are? What about you? Cosmo Canyon? I wonder if there's any relation to the planet, uh, to the planet or the ancients. I, I don't know, I mean, like, Cosmo kind of sounds like far out, man, you know, space and stuff. Yo, what's up? Uh, welcome to Cosmo Cannon. Are you familiar with this land? No, I am not. Please tell me more. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of the planet of life. Woo! I always wanted to come here. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's full now, so I cannot let you enter. Ah, that's bad. Uh, they helped me. That's right. Uh, Red 13, they helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. All right, yeah, cool. Oh, is that so? You helped out Nanaki? Nana, 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 nana Please come on in. Nanaki. All right, cool. Who, who's Nanaki, though? What's going on? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. This guy, the wolf thing that you've had following her around. Is it a wolf? I don't know. It's some sort of coyote, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, who are you? Little kid running around doing some stuff. Yay, Nanaki! Nanaki's back. Thanks to all. Uh, it's all thanks to this flame. It's called Cosmo Candle. It has burned for generations. It's a holy flame that protects this canyon. I heard it only went out once, long, long ago. The elders said something horrifying occurred, but I don't really know much else about that. 
All right, cool. That's that's sweet. Why do kids always have all the stories? What's going on with that? Hey, man, what's going on? So this is Cosmo Canyon, quite a mysterious place. Have you come to seek the study of the planet? Um, I mean, like, yeah, why not? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I heard there's an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I have a chance. Okay, maybe, maybe we could. Maybe we could. You see this ladder here? Can we? Oh, can I? Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. We can't. We can't get on the. You know, what? I'm turning this back on so we can see all the different places that we can go. It's quite a few of them in here. I hear. Oh, hey. Oh, what's this? Look back there. Uh, what's going on, man? Hello. Looking for anything in particular? I don't know. What have you got? Uh, no. No, no, actually, honestly, I'm not after anything you've got here. Okay, well, thank you. Do we want to sell some stuff? Probably not. Thank you very much. I will definitely come and see you guys again at some point. Can I not just jump down the ladder? Is that not a thing I can do? That would be very useful. What about this over here? What is it? Hey, hello? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, welcome to the bar. Welcome. How about our original cocktail, the Cosmo Canyon? A drink now and then it's good for you. It'll relax you a bit if you know when to stop. Oh, uh, yeah, can I have that? Welcome, how about- No, I, I asked, can I, can I have it? No, no, I don't want to go again! Let me out of here! What's this back here? Hello? Hello? Uh, ooh, ooh, hello? Things and stuff to go climbing through. What is this place? What is this place? We're supposed to just all chill out here or something. Uh, I feel there's some cultural significance in that sort of place that I don't quite get. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's come back out here. Welcome, come again. Uh, what are you up here? Hi. What's going on? Welcome to Sh Shildara Inn? Uh, it'll be a hundred years tonight. No, I'm all right. Thanks. Okay, chill. What's this? Turtle Paradise number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in at the Turtle Paradise. Okay, that sounds cool. Where's the Turtle Paradise? I'm gonna get rid of this now. Things to raid? No, there's only two beds. Where, where's my other guy supposed to sleep? What is this? I feel like you're trying to screw me over. I, I, I can't be doing with that in this sort of place. Bye. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. All these places are like empty. Uh, what's down here? Nothing in particular. Okay. Yo, Nanaki. Here is where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciated it, this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave, brave mother thought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Question mark. Yes, my father was a Westrel. Must be his last name, right? Nanaki Westrel, yeah. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is protect this place. My journey ends here. Yo, Nanaki, you're home. Who says that? Coming, Grandpa! Buckinghagen, maybe. I don't know, we'll go We'll go see. What, uh, what are you guys doing? Good timing. Let's take a breather. I got stuff I want to do. I got stuff I want to find out. All right, what, whatever you say, Barrett. Let's let's get up here. Let's, let's turn that off. It's really immersion breaking. Oh, hey! Um, not yet. Not yet. We will. We will. What have you got? Oh, welcome! The people of this canyon hate to compete, so almost everything here are replicas. But that's all right. Some of them you can really use. Well, that's pretty good. Let's see what you got here. We got the butterfly edge. That's a pretty strong. I don't know where. Mm, mm, mm. Do we want to do stuff? I kind of do. The heavy Vulcan. Ah. So we're going to buy. Mm, it's only got a normal growth. I'm not sure about that. I mean, I don't really use normal attacks that often. Who's that for? Uh, anyway, the pinwheel, don't even know that's for. The green megaphone, I mean, that's pretty good. That's a big number right there, 41. That's bigger than all the others. Uh, silver armlets, we've got two equipped. We need kind of need a third, but I, I don't know. Let's just leave this. I don't, I, don't, I don't want anything here. Bye! I don't know where I'm going. Let's try this way. Hello? Yo, Barrett, what's up, my man? There was this guy who studied planetary life here. He couldn't take things uh, he couldn't take things the way they were, so he went to Midgard to form Avalanche. Wanna hear more? Yeah, go on, man. Go on. I guess you could say this is where Avalanche was really born. I always wanted to come here, and finally, I made it. Wait, so are you... A lot has happened. Yeah, and then? And then, I don't know what's gonna happen now that there is no Avalanche. I mean, there is Avalanche, man. I mean, we are still all Avalanche. We're, hashtag we're all avalanche guys. Let's let's see that in the comments down below. Uh, where did I put this? I know it's around here somewhere. What are we looking for? Where did I put this? I know it's around here somewhere. Okay, cool, cool. Hashtag avalanche for life, yo. Uh, let's come out here and see what's going around. Can we can we get here? That's a very um. So you see how this support in the background is like very many pixels, and then this blade doesn't. 
It's interesting. Well, I suppose the blade has many pixels and the, the support doesn't, but you can see the pixels on the support. You can't see the pixels on the blade. I don't know what significance that means. Hey, what's going on over here? Bergenhager sealed this door shut. How, how did he do that? With super glue? Question mark? I don't know, maybe. I mean, that's how I'd do it. Super glue is the way forward. Um, hi, you? Oh man, I'm so healthy. I need more help. Bumble complain. Okay, well, you know, put your foot down. Get like this little this little kid. Hit. I bet he could help. I'd make him help. Uh, hello. Oh, hey. What, what what are you? ZZ, uh, numb yawn, sir. You forgot your change. Uh, he appears to be sleeping. Uh, are you here to shop? Yeah, that's right. Oh, is that your head? Oh, oh, shopping. I'm sorry. We hardly ever get any customers, but I do have confidence in our material. Okay, let's see what material you got. Eight grand a piece. Eight grand a piece. We don't even have the mystify. We've got two transforms, though. Okay, we're going to have to go and do some grinding at some point, guys, and really get that money together, I think. I don't, I don't know about you. Do, do you think this is the thing? Oh, hey! Is there literally only one way in and out? Okay, that, that's, that's fine, I suppose. I suppose we can live with that. What's up here? Hello, hello, hello. What's going on at the very top? That I put I pushed up. Don't don't pull me back down when I push up. That's that's not it's not very nice, you know. When people are just trying to climb up in life and you you're there push, pushing them back down. That wind vane's pretty good up top. That wind vane. Oh yeah. Hey, Nanaki, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? Cloud. This is my grandfather, Bergen. Uh, he's incredible and knows everything. Everything you say. <laughs> I hear that you looked after Nanaki. <laughs> Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. <laughs> Nanaki's tribe has an incredibly long life, long longevity. Yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> so you see, his 48 years would that be the equivalent of, say, 15 or 16 by human reckoning? He's a kid? What? He's quiet and very deep, though. You would have thought he was an adult. I mean, like, 48. Doesn't matter who you are. 48 years is 48 years, yeah. A grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you and the village. No, 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 Nanaki. You can't stand on your own yet. Oh, no, 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 no. To do that now, you would be destroyed in the long run. You would be destroyed in the long run. Yeah, that's speaking good, you know. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it. Haven't you? Aha. Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. It's true. Also staring into computer screens for too long. There's no perspective here. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. Oh, that's terrible. When does the planet die? <laughs> it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now. But it's not long. In fact, you know, maybe a hundred years from now. That's not long in, like, planetary timescales. How do you... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> How do you know this? <laughs> I hear the cries of the planet. But listen, you hear that? It's like whale song, right? I, I speak whale. I don't know if you guys are aware. What's that? The sound of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born. Die. You know, like the circle of life and stuff. Think things go round. Oh, that's horrible noises. What? Wait. What? What was that? What was that? Was that the sound of our own planet? No, it was a scream from the planet. Oh, chocolate. <clears throat> Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt. I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, 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 you're here for the dogging? No, wait. Ho, ho, to save the planet. Oh, 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 oh. But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Bugganganganhagen. Hi. Who, who are we? Oh, it's you. Several odd looking people are here. Uh, yeah, yeah, hi. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. All right, cool. Where? What? What's going on? Bye, bye, Nanaki. Have fun. Um, I can't walk yet. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. Um, who am I? What now? 
Don't worry, my machine won't run away. Go and invite your friend. Okay, well, well, okay, all right, let's go do this. Where are, my, where are my friends gonna be hanging out? I don't, I don't know. Are we even gonna have time this episode to, uh, to go and look? I hope so. We're gonna go look inside the machine. That is a definite must there. Uh, let's, no, 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 no. Are we good? Are we good? Are you still trying to get in there? He sealed this door shut with super glue. Now, I believe this was the exit. Yeah, I exit good, yo. I exit good. It's all about getting that right, you know. Come on, walk through the... <laughs> I exit good. Don't enter very well. I cannot get that entry down. Hello? Hello. Where are the peoples? I've, I've not spotted any of them yet. Where, where am I supposed to be inviting my friends from? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, so let, let's let's go through the whole list again of places we've been. I'm like, this is the bar, right? People are going to hang out in the bar. Let me up here, please, if you could. I, like, I'm not sure how I was supposed to invite. Like, we saw Barrett somewhere. Where was Barrett? He he was up top somewhere. Uh, no, no, I can't get in there. What? Oh, hey, there's more over. Did you guys see this? I have never seen like more over here. How do I get back there? I don't know. I don't know. How do I get back here? All right, well, he's not here. This was not the pub. I thought this was the pub. I was wrong. Who, who would have guessed that I could possibly ever be wrong? You got something more to say? Um, no. Oh, so you, your car broke down. Why don't you look around Cosmo Canyon while I fix the car? Oh, yeah, there's a good shout, man. Thank you very much. You are a very nice person. Very, very nice person. I like. Oh, hey. Um, I don't know if I want to take either of those two. I, I don't know. Who should we take? Who should we, hey, Nanaki. Um, you're not supposed to be here. Don't worry about me. I've seen it many times. I haven't been back for a while. Let me rest for a bit. Okay, cool. So I, I need someone else. I, mean, I suppose I'm going to pick Tiffa, because I'm all about Tiffa. I, I, mm, yeah, all right. Come on. Now, are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'll come with me. Oh, we only need to talk to one person. Uh, let's take Tiffa. I mean, we could take Barrett. Let's take Barrett. This is Barrett's game. Yeah, um, and and Cat Sith. Yeah, why not? Let's let's take them. Later, girls. <laughs> why not? Hey, why not? So now we got to walk all the way back up to the top. I, I've got a feeling this is one of these sections where the uh, the game designers was just like, I know, we'll make them run around a lot so that we can uh, extend the gameplay out a little bit, uh, which could be the thing. I mean, I have to say, out of all the story elements <coughs> in Final Fantasy VII, I personally find Cosmo Canyon to be one of the weakest. I now I, I know that my friends who also play this disagree with me strongly they're like Cosmo Canyon is where it, well, it's all about I mean this is where you find the secrets of, of everything uh, here over here this door is unlocked come in but I, I just find it slow I just find it slow all right let's get in there and do some stuff hey Bergen can I, can I talk to you ho 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 it looks like you have them all together then let's begin I'll stand there all right let's let's stand let's chill I'm chilling. I've been chilling for a long time. Oh, everything changed around me. Everything changes. That's a nice animation they've got there. Whoa, man. This is really something. Mm, yes, it's pretty good. This is my laboratory. The the planet. The mm, look at look at the look at the way this place is laid out. Like, we look on the internal ones. We've got a couple of small planets. I I think we're almost in a in a solar system like actual like our solar system um all the workings of space are entered into this 3d holographic system now i know these words might be a bit much for you <laughs> whoa it's a shooting star man i mean look at that that's a comet just ripping through but think about this the, the size of space that's trying to be uh the uh, shown here. These are like days passing in seconds here. Yo, Barrett, man. Aren't, aren't you amazed at how cool everything is? I'm amazed at how cool everything is. I, I wouldn't mind one of these myself, actually. Uh, I mean, I like the idea of orreries. Um, and, and a holographic orrery would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, and there go things into what I assume is supposed to be a black hole. Are we, like our sun, circling that black hole? This is, this is really something. It is. Oh, 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 yes, it is something. Isn't it? <laughs> well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? Their body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everybody knows. What about what about their consciousnessness? Their hearts? Their souls? The soul too returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on the planet. In fact, all living things in the universe 
are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and diverge, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy that's of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life. Children, blessed with the spirit energy, are brought into this world. Then the time comes when they too die, and once again return to the planet. But of course there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. The planets spin, suddenly everything goes smooth, and we look at what I assume to be our home planet. I mean, it's got to be, really, hasn't it? I mean, how, how could it be anything else? This is what we're trying to infer from here. And there is a person walking on the North Pole somehow. But it's okay. It's not that cold. Because he's going to disappear into a shower of particles. Because that's that's exactly how it works. I know when I die, I'm going to be like, particles! That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. But when the particles die, it goes over to a new child who comes up and becomes a person and once again decays into a shower of particles. Meaning that the internet gets to go around the planet. Is that one? seen here. Spirit energy is the source of life for trees, buildings and other things. And not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. So that, that gravity is not a thing without spirit energy? And if that the spirit energy, and if that spirit energy were to disappear... Oh my god, there's a giant demigod sucking the planet, planet dry of its spirit, spirit energy. Well, what are, we, what are we supposed to take from this, people? What are we supposed to take? Oh, it crumbles down as if gravity was a thing in space. I mean, gravity is a thing in space, but it goes towards the uh, highest density of mass, and I thought that crumbly thing would have been. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, uh, I'm not a space expert, am I? There are these are the basics of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die? Question mark. <laughs> spirit energy is e efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about macro energy, right? Everyday Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and then processed into Mako energy. All level things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Uh, which we kind of got, like, as a group. I know Avalanche in particular are, like, all over it. I mean, it makes sense. That's that's the story of Avalanche right there. They're killing the planet, man. You know, we've we've all been there. We've listened to Barrett Rant. Oh, we're going back. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. Do you guys like that? The story of the planet and those who live within them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the old Oz. Well, you look pretty old. Nanaki, his father, a coward? So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. Yeah? Uh, like, okay, so there's no more than that. Just, like, that's it. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, I can't do a little bow. I'd like to do a little bow. But thank you for teaching me about the ways of the planet. What's up here? I really want to know what's up here. Hello? What, what have we got? We can come off this floor. Have we got anything around? I don't, I don't, I don't see anything. What have we got up here as well? It's, uh, we're definitely going up. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Hey, what's going on up here, guys? I don't see anything. Well, with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you guys next time where we're going to go find out how we can leave. I mean, let's be honest. We found out the story of the planet. Now we need to get out of here. So I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!